Hey everyone, my name is Justin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a reflection illusion in Photoshop. For this effect to work, you want to have a photo like the one I have here where a reflection meets an object. What we're going to do is remove the legs so it looks like the shoes are just floating there but the reflection is still fully there. So let's zoom into the area where we're going to be working. I have a pretty easy photo here and I just need to remove these two small parts of the leg. So I should be able to select them easily by just using my quick selection tool. Using a brush size that's a little bit smaller than the object, if I just paint in where I want to select, I can get a pretty decent selection and then press refine edge to smooth it out a little bit. So I'll turn the smoothness up and then I'll shift the edge to the right as well. Depending on your photo, you might just be able to hit delete and fill in the photo with content aware. Since my photo is so close up to the top, Photoshop doesn't know how to fill this in. So I'll actually undo. And what I'll do in my case is duplicate this selection onto its own layer. So layer via copy. Now I'll grab my background layer. I'll duplicate that as well and I'll drag it on top of the selection and head over to layer, create clipping mask. So since the background of this photo is so similar, I can actually just move over my clipping mask and fill in that selection with some of the other parts of the pattern here. So you can still see some of the rough edges of the leg and we can take care of this by creating a new layer and using the spot healing brush tool. So I'll turn my brush size down and I wanna use a hardness of 0% just to keep things smooth. And then using the content aware type fill, I wanna make sure sample all layers is checked and just fill in some of those edges. Photoshop should be able to easily blend in the edges so you can't see them anymore. So since inside the shoes is always gonna be a dark shadow, we could just grab our pen tool and working on path mode, we can imagine the shape of what the shoe would have been. So the pen tool is pretty easy to use. If you click and drag, it will create a curve. And then once you wanna get back in line with the part of the shoe that already exists, if I hold Option or Alt, I can put my anchor back in line and finish up the selection. Now that I have that circular selection, make sure you're working on combined shape mode and then go ahead and do the other shoe as well. Once you've finished that selection, grab your convert point tool and just click out of that circle so that you can work on both of your shapes and right click and fill the path with black. Now we can just add some finishing touches to make it look a little bit more realistic. Grab your blur tool and just blur the edge of the new shapes you created. Finally, to close out those gaps, I grab the original background layer, I'll duplicate it, and I'll place it on top of everything. Now if I just press layer, layer mask, hide all, I can grab my paintbrush tool, and with white as my foreground color, and a brush size that's 0% hard and small enough for the size that I'm working with, I can salvage those old parts of the photo, like the back of the collar of the shoe, and everything will look a lot better blended in. If I go too far in bringing back the original photo, I can press X to switch back to my black as foreground color and erase that. So work on the finishing details as much as you need and you'll have your shoes floating on top of your reflection. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it gave you an idea for a photo of your own. If you did have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe for weekly tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.